Hey guys, um, a recent post I made a few days ago asked uh, anybody in my network if there was any interest in me getting back into different types of videos and blogs and things like that, including martial arts videos. So um, I decided, had a little bit of time today, to drag my laptop out into my living room, which is a little bit more spacious than the bedroom I was doing the stuff in with my previous set of videos. Um, so hopefully I can demonstrate some stuff a little bit better in here. But um, anyway, this is just like a trial dry run kind of video just to see how the lighting looks and, you know, if you guys think everything looks like you can follow it decently. Obviously, I would love to be doing this in a, in a gym or in a place with more even lighting than what I have. Um, and maybe one day I'll do that. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to examine this, see if this will work, uh, and just demonstrate a few techniques very you know, simply, just kind of surface level stuff, nothing in depth. So, uh, yeah, all right. Um, and for those of you who have not seen my stuff before, uh, I just dabbled a while uh, last year with instruction videos on martial arts. Um, specifically, Taekwondo is what I've done. I've done a few different versions of it. We've been exposed to different philosophies within Taekwondo, which is a large martial art that has a bunch of different, um, you know, kind of subcategories, uh, different sets within it. But, um, so I just felt like sharing at least the way I execute a lot of the techniques for people that may be interested in learning kind of how this stuff is done. Maybe it'll just be cool to watch, or maybe, um, you're starting martial arts yourself or you're thinking about doing it, trying to hone some techniques or whatever. But anyway, um, primarily my focus has been on kicks, uh, because that's what Taekwondo is known for. That's what I feel I can bring to the table the most as far as instructing people. So there it is. Um, but yeah, there's sort of a fundamental list of te uh, techniques of kicks to do, um, and you know, obviously there are variations on a whole lot of these. I'm not going to do every single permutation, especially just an overview vid. But uh, just to show a few of the ones that you might encounter, right? Um, go ahead and go through a list. This is just off the top of my head, right? The fundamentals. Uh, pretty much always start off with the front kick, right? Just coming forward here from the side, it look like this. Then we've got, well, the side kick. I'll just stand here. We have different versions of a side kick, um, whether it's a, a jabbing one or one with a deeper chamber or whatnot, but it'll look something like this. To the other side, he comes up and out. Roundhouse kick. Again, I'll go out to the sides here, pointing the knee and then coming across. There are different ways to execute that as well, right? One. And then the other side, two. Then after those, you start getting into some of the other kicks that require either greater amounts of flexibility or spins and whatnot. We've got crescent kicks, right? Inside crescent kick coming across with the foot. Again, the other side. So it's called an inside crescent because it's going from the outside in. Its path is moving towards the inside. Then you have the reverse. Call the reverse crescent kick or outside crescent kick or something like that. So coming to the inside first and then coming back out, which will look something like this. Kind of across the face or across the target with the outside or blade edge of the foot right there. So other side, coming out, we've got the axe kick, which is bringing the leg up and straight down. So from the front, it would look like this. Other side. From the side, You'll notice my leg come up, and then I'm dropping my heel down. You can also do it with the sole of the foot. Axe kick. Right there. Again, other side. Here. Trying to keep the hands up. That's a cue I normally talk about when I instruct a kick. Um, but I'll break that down individually for each kick on its own when I do separate tutorials on each one. So those are axe kicks. Um, we've got the back kick. Sometimes also, also called a, uh, you know, a mule kick or a turning back kick, but that would basically, without the turn, if I have a target behind me with my right leg, I can pick it up a little bit and then just come back with the heel here, again, coming up, and then back this way, like a mule kicking in a stall. So if I had a wall on the side of me, I don't want my leg to come out to the side, keeping it kind of underneath, here. Other side, up, back. 
And then the turning version would be, if I'm looking at my target, turning my shoulder away, and coming through, varying the height wherever I need it to be. After that, we've got the hook kick, which is where you come across your target with either the sole of the foot or the heel. Um, related to that is a spinning heel kick, uh, and there are various versions, but they'll look something like this. If I'm just leading on without a spin, I can skip in or just lift the leg up. Coming across, again, we back up a little bit here. Coming across the face, and I can either recoil it like I just did, or I can follow through and turn to the other leg. Right? If I do it with a spin, it'll look something like this. Here, letting my body turn, I'm going to look over my other shoulder before I lift the leg up, like so. Here, there's tension now on the hip. I lift the leg up and come across, right here. There it is. Other side. Again, turning, and look over the shoulder of the kicking leg, like so. I can pre-turn my front foot a little bit if I want. I can talk about why you may or may not want to do that in another video. But here, I turn, I look, and come across, right? Always important, obviously, to warm up properly before you do these things. If you don't have a lot of flexibility, work with what your body gives you. But, uh, yeah, those, are, I think, are the main ones. Let's see, um, also have the twisting kick, which is not the kind of thing that you're going to, you know, knock somebody through the wall with, but uh, it's a neat trick kick for people that are interested in showing off their flexibility, doing, uh, you know, trick breaks. If you're sparring and looking to score a quick point from an odd angle, this might be useful, right? Picking the knee up and then I'm kicking out at an angle. Sometimes it's almost referred to, can be referred to as a, uh, an inverted roundhouse kick. So if a roundhouse were coming across this way, the twisting kick would come the other way with the same leg, but it's kicking out in the other direction towards my back instead of towards my front. Here, right? The other side, there. So you see the angle cutting up. Ideally, I like to get to a, a 45 or at least almost a 45 degree angle. It's kind of hard to hold that, but I'm trying to approximate that if I can. Just coming up and out, right? So those are the basic ones, right? We've got front kick, side kick, roundhouse kick, inside crescent, outside crescent, hook kick, with or without a spin. We've got the back kick and the twisting kick. Oh, and the axe kick as well. So those are a bunch of the ones that I feel I'm capable of doing, um, especially now that my body's working a little bit better. And, uh, yeah, um, I've had some people message me privately as well as post uh, comments before asking for tutorials on these things. So if you're interested in any of that, let me know. Um, the first one I get an idea for or get a request for, I'll, you know, I'll post a video on that and I'll just go down the line. And hopefully these will be helpful or at least interesting to anybody who's making a request. And it'll help me hone my own skills as well. So um, everybody wins. Anyway, that's the kind of trial run. Let me know how that goes. And uh, I'll see you guys, well on Facebook, YouTube, somewhere out there online. Thanks.